Hey guys, I'm going to do a quick lesson on the circle as a locus. We've already really covered this in the very first lesson. Just to review, the locus um, is a term used to describe the path of a single moving point that obeys certain conditions. So we looked at the at that very first uh, example of the origin at point zero and the locus of a um, point x, y, which moves so that it is always three units from the origin. And we said that if we've got a point that is always three points from the origin, that it will move around in a circular motion, okay, which will give a circle. Um, we also said that that would be the same as doing x squared plus y squared equals, in this case, if it was three, it'd be three squared, and we'd write that as x squared plus y squared minus nine equals zero. Um, we also did the same thing where um, we, we looked at questions where you might have a center um, at, let's say, 1, 3, and a radius of 4. And instead of using the x squared plus y squared, we use the x minus h all squared um, plus y minus k all squared equals r squared. All right. And then... Basically, we said that we would expand the brackets for both of them. So we get x squared minus 2x plus 1 plus y squared minus 6y plus 9. Take away 16 equals 0. And then I'd simply add the 1, the 9 together and get x squared minus 2x plus y squared minus 6y. 1 plus 9 is 10. Take away 16 is minus 6 equals 0. And that would be my equation. All right. I guess the harder questions which you'll see is where we're reversing it, okay? We're given this equation and we're asked to find the center. I mean, for the easy ones, you know, it's it's pretty straightforward. If you're told, you know, that it's got x squared plus y squared equals 25, it's very easy to say that the center is at 0, 0, and the radius is 5. You might be told that it might be x minus 3 squared plus y minus 2 all squared equals 10. In that case, you'd say, okay, the center is at 3, 2, and the radius is at square root of 10. But what happens if they don't give it to you in this particular format, and they actually give it to you in the expanded form? So we have to sort of work backwards. And, and what I want to look at, um, I guess, before I actually move on to the actual questions on that, is basically you know saying if I've got something like this, x squared plus, um, let's say, uh, I'll say 4x plus 4, for example. Now, if I'm given that particular question, hopefully you recognize that's a fairly easy way to solve that or to put it back into brackets because you know it's going to be um, two numbers multiplied to give four is two and two and the add here to give four is two and two so it'd be x plus two x plus two like that which is the same as doing your x plus two squared the harder questions right are where they give you this x squared plus four x and you're expected or say equals five you expected to solve it for a perfect square. And so what you would say is you have to have this plus four, but I've now changed the question, so I need to add four to both sides. I now get my x plus um, x plus two all squared equals, in this case, nine, and you'd sort of work from there. That's a, a brief sort of, I guess, description of what you need to do, and it's called completing the square. Now, if you can't remember how to do completing the square, then I suggest you go back to my uh, lessons looking at factorizing, okay? Because that's what it is, it's factorizing. All right. Now, I'm going to look at uh, the first question here. Okay, so very similar to what we just did. Uh, find the equation of the locus of a point that is always two units from the point negative one zero. Okay, so negative one zero, that is my center of my circle. You might want to pause it and have a quick go at it. The radius is two. Okay, so hopefully you said this. X minus H all squared plus Y minus K all squared equals R squared. So we've got 
x squared plus 2x plus 1 plus y squared equals 4. Check it on the left hand side, x squared plus 2x plus y squared. 1 take away 4 is minus 3 equals 0. Okay, you've got it pretty quick. So that part of it, guys, I don't think you should have too many issues with. Um, the next question is where it gets difficult. Find the centre and the radius of a circle with this equation. So basically, this is what I would like to do. I want to put it back into this form. Okay, because it's, if it's in this form, I can say that the centre is at HK, and I can see what the radius is going to be pretty easily. So I need to somehow factorise that x squared plus 8x and make it into a perfect square. Likewise, I need to factorise the y squared minus 2y and put it into a perfect square. Before I do that, what I'd like to do is to rewrite the question to make it x squared plus 8x. Then I've got plus y squared minus 2y equals 8. I'll get my 8 over the other side because that's going to be my radius. Well, once I've modified things. So I want to put this back into this form. Okay, so solving the perfect square, you might re remember we used to say we have the middle number, which is before, and we square it. Likewise, we have the middle number, and we square it. Now you might think, okay, well, if I do that, what would it have been if it was expanded? Now, this part of it, guys, I'm going to draw a line here because this is the bit you should do in your head. Okay, expand it. x squared plus 8x, well, that's what we've got up there, but I've got this plus 16. If I expand the next one, y squared minus 2y plus 1. Now, the issue is, is this. In orange, that's what I've got, that's what I've now created. However, when I expand it, it's not the same as this line. Instead of having x squared plus 8x, I've got this extra plus 16. Likewise, instead of having y squared minus 2y, I've got this extra plus 1. So how do I make sure that my equation is balanced correctly? Well, what I add to the left-hand side, we must add on to the right-hand side. So I'm going to add on 16. I'm going to add on 1. So I end up with x plus 4 squared plus y minus 1 all squared is equal to, well, it's going to be um, 16 plus 9 is 25. So what is my center? Well, the center is going to be negative 4, positive 1, and the radius will be 5. Again, if you're struggling doing the factorizing part, you need to go back and have a look at the factorizing video on this. Going to do another one very similar. I want you to pause this, have a go at it, see if you can do it by via completing the square and see how you go with the answer. Okay, so hopefully we recognize that, you know, I'm going to rewrite it actually. I'm going to put x squared minus 4x plus y squared minus 10y equals negative 4. Okay, so all I did there is put the plus 4 to the other side. Now you might re again recognize that you need to make it a circle. So I need it in the form of x minus h all squared plus y minus k all squared equals r squared. So I'm going to halve it and go x minus 2 squared. Because remember when you times them together and you double it, we're just sort of working backwards. The opposite of double is halving. So x minus 2 squared plus y minus 5 all squared equals negative 4. Now, we know that's not going to be correct because when I put it into the brackets, I've actually got x squared minus 4x plus 4. So I need to add on 4 to the right-hand side. I've got y squared minus 10y plus 25. So I need a plus on 25. I need to do those things, otherwise I've changed the actual value of my question. So I'm left with x minus 2 all squared plus y minus 5 all squared. Well, 4 take away 4 is 0. So, oh, look at that. I'm left for 25 again. Didn't mean that to happen, but it happened. So, my center is at the coordinate 2, 5. 
I've got a radius of five units. Okay, so once you do a few of these guys, you'll recognize that it is actually pretty easy. Um, it doesn't really change from that questions there. It is pretty straightforward. Um, that's completing the square. That's finding the equation um, of a, um, a circle as a locus or finding the center in the radius of a circle via the locus method. Have a great day, guys.